Good evening, lords and ladies. I'm Night Before Dawn, and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. Today I'd like to go over that Can You Build It With Stone series a little bit more, and talk about building a stone staircase, which you can sprint up. Um, just because of the way the uh, vertical offsets work, they are just slightly off of a perfect 1 12th offset and you can't step up that next stage like that just that little bit more the difference between uh, 1 12th and whatever this is you can't make that next step but if you're sprinting you can so walking is not an option but sprinting is fine so I figured that's about as good as I was gonna make it I wasn't gonna fight to try and get that minuscule little vertical difference. Um, I do have a few ideas for how I could do it but it takes quite a bit of extra uh, work to do so. Anyways, um, this is me just practicing and trying to get things right so I knew what I was doing while I was working with it and I'm just going to toss a log over here, a quarter log over here, a half log which I doubt I'll need but I just want one of each and where is my three-quarter log don't know let's uh, let's just make one then okay now I have a three-quarter log okay so I'm going to actually kinda put these just off to the side a bit better and the first thing I want to do is I want to start with uh, making 50% offsets at varying heights. So I'll just do a 112th increase height offset and sometimes this will actually decrease your height, other times it will um, increase the height. It's not always consistent. It depends on the height you are from the ground. If you start with that usually you'll do fine and it'll work the way I'm uh, describing it. Sometimes if there's a little bit of a slope or a hill it will behave differently but usually you'll be exactly a quarter log distance different when dealing with it. But when I come down off of there and then I place this here and here we go see that is a 1 12th offset going down which that's a perfect example of what I was talking about. Normally the short one is the 1 12th up. So this will actually be 2 12ths down. If I go like this, that should match up with the bottom edge uh, of that, and it does. So, yeah, that is a perfect example of it doing the opposite of what I was expecting and that I can't move, remove, so let's just remove it. And put this back. So that's like that. Um, I'm actually going to want to build up off of this a little bit. Well, no, I, I could probably use this as it is. So I'll build that like that. And then I'm just going to remove this one, this one, this one, and this one and pull this off of there and that off of there. That can just get out of the way. Oh, come on, quit crouching. One, two, one, two. And come on, build across. Place that slope down and this should be kind of in between the two heights so now if I were to build that that you can see that that one is sloped compared to that so they are at different heights so what I need to do actually is I need to do this get rid of that and that because you want to do the higher one first. 
just gonna actually place that like that and get rid of this because the lower one can easily get placed underneath the higher one without any interference and the reason I did this like this is because I'm also going to bring out another 50% offset that is come on oh come on let me out of there at that height there we go and to do this because I'm already in front of that I'm actually just gonna come out the side it doesn't matter which way you come out so this will work just fine and that should match the height of what's already there and now this one should be the highest one and then I can do this this and that and there we go I've got all three offsets in the vertical offsets that's just the uh, that's just step one at the moment to get to the next stage um, I'm actually gonna treat well I'll just use this one as my base um, height from now on I want to do a horizontal offset of 1 12th so I'm going to grab all of these get them out of the way and where is there's my three-quarter log so I want one two three four five six and I actually need to do a two twelfth offset so we'll go one two and then let's build a or place planks on here what am I holding ah planks on here that works I want to use a sh anything that's shorter than a full log I could probably use a full log on this one because this is the lowest uh, frame but I like to uh, stick with the shorter ones just to make sure that I can come down off of it like that so and then I'm gonna just come over here do the same exact thing one two three one two three and just because this is where it is I actually want to just move it over because this is gonna be in the way if I leave things as they are right now so let's just get it out of the way just so that you can see that it's on the 50% offset just like everything else I'll do that then I will slope down off the opposite side of that one I want to be going this one I want to be going to the left and this one I want to be going to the right when facing this direction then I do the same thing I place planks grab a three-quarter log and I come down forward off of it there we are now I need my one-quarter logs let's just pick up a couple extra one-quarter logs just to help clean up my mess good enough for now do that and do that these should match the heights of what they originally were they seem to have not matched their heights okay so this one has gone back to the being the higher height which is not what I was expecting but that's due to the fact that this would have normally gone to that higher height so these are actually back at the heights that they would have been at um, it's sometimes awkward to deal with when it does that but it doesn't really matter as long as when you're building it it tends to stay at the same one I think it should stay at this height from now on so I'm just going to leave it at that and I'm going to do hmm that's that's gonna I'm gonna have to bring this out forward because of the height difference so it's gonna cost me a little bit of extra effort but as you can see I have a difference of two twelfths here I could try and build it off of this but I actually want to build out this way off of it because I've already got too much stuff in the way over there so I'm gonna have to make things slightly different here but as you can see it's I've got a bunch of the work already done 
Um, to get this one in line with what I want though, I need to have it offset differently. So I'm going to grab my three quarter log here and I'm actually going to take both of these and take them out another twelfth because like I was saying in the beginning I want two twelfth offset or one sixth offset in both directions. And Once I've got that, that should be all I need. I want this one. So I need that, 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 that. I should have done this the first on the other side, but oh well. Good enough. And then like I was saying, I want something that's shorter than the full log. And then I'm going to come out forward again and forward again. And then I'm going to pick them up again and pick it up again. And yeah, they seem to be matching again. Good. Okay, and now there will be a gap between them, but I'm going to actually do a, another 50% offset here. Because, well, I just need to. So this one here, this gap between them, I'm going to do a 50% offset on this one, two, three, four, and with two high, it's not going to change the height of anything. And I want the full log. Oh no, I need... Is this the quarter? Yeah, that's a quarter, good. Oh, come on! There we go. And full log come down off the front. Okay. So now I have 50% offset from that. I'm also going to, in the end, want this grid, so I'm going to project that one forward. Um, I want this grid, so I'm going to project that forward. I want a 50% offset on this grid. And I don't want the height to change, so... see I have four uh, technically four different grids here and I've got two more over there which I want to actually project those forward as well so this lake is kind of in the way but I'm gonna project this one forward here and this one nice. I'm gonna project forward through here bringing them all to the same point. Alright, so it's clear that all of these are going to be getting used. Now, what I want to do is I want to get them to all be within the same, uh, within a single grid. Um, I'm going to use this one as the base grid because it is the lowest one. So I want to just build across, come on, there we go, across there, there, oh, except I want to do it, I'm going to actually put, aim that one back like that, because I want to do this in stone, because this is where I'm going to be starting to build the stone frame, I think I'm just going to just be shy of that uh, pond. Perfect, I am just going to be shy of the pond. Okay, so this is where, no, don't do that. This is that and that. All right, so that's the first one done. And then 
I want the I want to bring this one over because we're actually I'm basing it on this location here as the base of my uh, foundation here um, but I don't oh oh this one's the lowest one I want so I need to put it in last so I'm going to just remove all that pick up all this there's a whole bunch of these in the way right now that's the problem with being close to these ponds is there's a whole bunch of them always in the way alright so now what I want to do is I want to get the one that's going to line up with the offset from this so I'm pretty sure that's this one here to okay now I need to use stone for that and then we go one two three four and that actually goes out past oh but it's sloped for uh, I've never oh I, I see why it's sloped I see why it's sloped because that wasn't supposed to connect okay and now I can bring this over this way and there we go that's the first set of steps done I'm gonna just build out a frame here because that's gonna be the bottom edge that I walk on which I could put planks on there then I want to get rid of this because this is redundant and in the way. So now I've built this frame here. And that's the basis, basic process of the whole thing. But what I need to do now, I believe, is... Yeah, this one. It lines up with it beautifully. As you can see, this one is a little bit lower. And because of that, I can actually do this and this. And then if I take a log and place... I want to place the log at the opposite end of how I want these to sit. So if I want these on the left side, like that, that pattern there on the left side, I want my log to come off of this side then I'll pick up these and then because I can't get the arrow to come out of this side I can get it to come out of the opposite side that the log is attached to then I can do that and as you can see that kept the same pattern but that one is slightly higher than the rest so that is where I can't just walk up I have to be sprinting to get up that but then I can remove the log and carry on to the next step which is I want the 50% offset grid from this one which is this one here so I will come see I can't come forward off of that I probably can't just go straight out sideways off of it right now yeah, no that's not working maybe if I've got this there we go perfect because I don't need any of this stuff here I can remove that and I don't need that like that either that's fine too okay now this you'll notice it's quite a bit lower but that's easy to deal with so I'm gonna actually go back because I want to use stone here but I was just throwing it in there quickly and I'll pick up all this extra stone okay here we go okay and then I'll pick these up because they're not needed anymore and oh no I need the stones then I go up one two this time one two Oh no, and then I need a log, and I want it to go the same way, so I pick the highest one here. I don't want to do any of the uh, lower ones. I want the highest possible snap point. And then I'll grab rocks, and just like before, I want to make, or it, it'll snap on the opposite end, and there we go. 
the next step. I don't need this. And I don't need this anymore. And now for the next one, I want the one that matches this height, but 50% off, which that one was, I believe, this guy right here. So if I go across like that, and then across like that, and then, is that the right one? That is the right one, perfect. And I'll grab stones, and we'll just carry on with the exact same process. There we go, I don't need this anymore. And then, one, two, and as you can see, that's reaching up to just nicely above the top, so that's exactly what we want. Place my login at the highest point again, and then place my stones across. And if you're unsure about uh, positioning of things, you can go to your lowest step, then, oh, in this case, I'm in the pond, so it's going to ruin it, but I can do that. Then come out like that and go like this, and you can check to see if you line up right, because the spacing I used for this happens to just perfectly fit inside of a single regular grid. So you can keep this here as just a line of sight to know if you're at the point you want to be at. Now I'm here, and I believe it's just this one that I need to come off of. Yeah, it looks pretty good space-wise. And then I can go one, two, three. One, two, three. And then I need a log. Let's just pick up the excess logs, do that. Grab a stone, and the sideways arrows. That's all the same. And now this next one will actually, the fact that I did this is kind of handy because see, I can go like that and that's even the right spacing already. So I'll do this, pick up the stones, and I will come in from this side with the stones. The stones on the bottom don't particularly matter. It won't change anything which end you based on which end you come in from. But now I'm going to go up a full um, height. And that's probably the easiest way to identify, even if you don't do the side grid to check your distance. You just build a full grid and it should just line up with the top. And there we go. We have our staircase. Um, I'm going to just go down to the mo lowest point here, snap in a uh, frame just to be able to build a full frame and then and let's just grab some planks so that I can make some there we go. Now I'll just do this so I can fill in the planks. There we are, and there we go. A stone staircase. You can't quite walk up it, but you can sprint up it. So it's not too bad. Um, it's also rather easy to, um, if you want to have walls on both sides of it, it kind of lends itself to that really well. Three, four, one, two, three, one, two, one, and you can just kind of build like that, like that, which I don't want to be removing those ones, I want to be removing these ones, which I can't right now, interesting, because they force snapped on me. But that's fine. If we do it right, it's probably better to start at the top le levels anyways. Yep, 
Yeah, it doesn't look quite as nice doing it this way. But you do have a unique wall pattern when you do it, which you can't really see from this side, but that's fine. And yeah, a nice staircase. Rather complicated to build. There's a long process to get it working. Um, and if you want one that you can just sprint up that still fits in the grids properly, um, you can do, instead of the um, two 12th offsets and doing it the way I did it here, you can actually get it so that you're only dealing with one 12th uh, vertical offsets and everything lines up just peachy keen uh, for two grids. You can just run up a half as steep uh, stone staircase. But anyways, um, if you found this video useful and you would like to see more, I would greatly appreciate a like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you very much.